Hello, hello, and welcome to my spare bedroom. I've built a photogrammetry turntable. It's something I've wanted to build for quite some time now, but have never really gotten around to doing it. Uh, call it laziness, because it was definitely some laziness. Um, now, sure, I could just get a lazy Susan. We can set up a tripod, take a whole bunch of photos, and bing, bang, boom, we can produce a pretty cool model from that. But where's the fun in that? Where's the, where's the excitement? Uh, the goal has been to, uh, well, effectively get to a point where we can automate it. We can press a button, spinny, 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 and we can produce a model at the end of it. And, and so I built this device. And the reason I'm telling you I built this device is because things have not gone to plan. So I'm going to set this up as being a bit of a three-part series, with the first part here being going into what we've done, where we are, uh, and, and how things have gone seriously wrong. Don't get me wrong, it's cool, but it could be definitely better. So if that sounds like a cool project to you, then uh, stick around, and hey, let's just get into this. All right, so first and foremost, let's get into the design. Let's get into with where we're at right now, because while the design we've got is functional, uh, there is a lot of room for improvement, and it breaks down like this. We have two gears. We have a large gear, which doubles as our platform, and then a smaller gear, which is attached to our step mode. Obviously, that's driving the platform. Um, now, I could have used an EMA 17 or even a pancake stepper, but I mean, I didn't have any of those. Uh, what I did have was dainty little five volt stepper motors that come in, you know, the Arduino kits. Uh, and over the years, I've bought dozens of those kits and ended up with dozens of those stepper motors. Uh, and they're fantastic for so many applications, but they lack a little bit of power. So we wanted enough torque to drive the platform. And I needed this to be big because I wanted to utilize as much of the build volume of the K1 as possible. I mean, we've got a large printer. Let's, let's use it to its fullest extent. Um, and that's where we're at. So I decided that we would have a one to eight gear ratio, uh, with this being about 270, and this gear down here being round about 38. Obviously, that being dependent on <laughs> on that number at the top there. Um, making gears is a dark art. It is a science. It is wizardry in of itself. And if you jump down that rabbit hole, uh, you will find out very quickly that uh, the art of making gears can get very complex very quickly. But we settled on a very simple design, worked quite well. Um, this stepper motor obviously connected to its, its driver board. Um, that connected to an Arduino Nano. And that Arduino Nano connected to a Raspberry Pi with a TFT display as well as our Raspberry Pi camera module three. Um, and it, all of this was communicating via a serial communication that, you know, as this would rotate, it would stop, take a photo, and then move on. Uh, with a custom user interface, all touchscreen, <laughs> beautiful. In essence, a great design. It works. You know, in theory, very happy with it. Uh, but I, I overlooked a, a few crucial things, uh, and that's that has become rather problematic. So without me rambling on a little bit, let's just showcase the design because <laughs> without further ado, here she is in all of her splendid glory. Uh, the keen-eyed among you will note that the object is very clearly cut off at the top. The camera is in the wrong position. Uh, well, it looks pretty sick, dare I say. Um, is it the most functional piece? No, not by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, We'll get into that and showcase how she works. All right, so here we've got the user interface. Um, and we have a couple of basic commands. We have the ability to rotate, uh, to run photogrammetry, to export, and obviously reset the whole thing. And it'll, it's got a little photo counter here that'll give you uh, how many photos it's taken. It's set up to, to take 36 photos, one full revolution of the, uh, of the platform itself. Um, and I think it, 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 it works effectively pretty well. Um, the only problem, and it's the elephant in the room, is it cuts off most of the model when it's sitting in the middle of the, uh, uh, the platform itself. Problematic. So let's just run, run the photogrammetry. And you will see it's starting to spin and rotate. Uh, and as it does, it takes photos. Pretty cool. But as cool as it is, the <laughs> placement of the camera, which is here, coming through here, is obviously a little bit too close, not high enough. It needs to be further back looking down on this entire build platform. Um, everything else is set up all right. Ignore the gaping hole. This is, this is, this is cutting edge R&D. Um, but it works pretty well. It is a functional design. But as with most things, it is a, it is a process. It is a step-by-step -step to, to sort of see and tinker and see how things actually work. All right, so now that we've seen how this thing works, um, there is an elephant in the room, which is the camera system. The camera system sucks. Uh, when I was designing this whole thing, I got so fixated on uh, what the platform was going to look like, the gears and the gear ratio, uh, whether the stepper motor was going to have enough torque, 
uh, how the Raspberry Pi was going to communicate with the Arduino Nano, um, and certainly how it was going to take photos as it was going around itself, building the UI, uh, all of these things that I thought were the most important, the most critical, that I overlooked the single most important thing, which is the camera system. Uh, without a good camera system and a good camera setup, I've just built a spinny, spinny device. It, it, it's you know, effectively useless. So we need to rectify that. Um, you're never going to get your design right in the first time. This is, this is the whole point of R&D, um, of prototyping things and <laughs> churning things out and going, that didn't work, that worked, let's, let's refine it, let's get better and make something that's really sick. Um, one thing that worked really well that did surprise me um, was the, the build platform itself. The platform um, <laughs> is by far my single favorite thing. I think that the, the design of it, I'm going to try and keep as much the same as possible. Um, and one critical aspect is a bearing that I nicked from a, a Lazy Susan itself. It moves with almost zero resistance whatsoever, which I think is just the best thing in the world. Um, so we're going to keep that design because I think that works, you know, in a functional sense really, really well. Um, everything else we can kind of overlook and try and refine. Certainly when it comes to um, the actual camera housing itself, um, we need to make this higher, get it further back. We need to uh, uh, properly calculate what the, the best angle is. The user interface, we need to, to refine a little bit, certainly when it comes to um, its functionality, how it's going to export, because right now we're just exporting to a USB, and you know, that works fine, but I want to refine that a little bit further, um, as well as have a nice, more cohesive case that well, doesn't have a gaping hole in the side of it. You know, the Raspberry Pi is not sitting quite well. There's, there's a lot of problems with it. For all intents and purposes, though, it, it works really well. Um, so we're going to refine some things and, 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 and see where it takes us. But yeah, that's where we're at. So we're going to try and rectify some of these issues uh, in the next upcoming video. Because I think we've got a lot of potential here. And I think we can make this work. We can make it... Uh, into something that I think is is going to be a really cool functional little device. And so I hope you stick around for what's going to be you know the next couple of parts uh, as we dive into this and build this thing up because I think it really is going to be a, a cool little project as we uh, sort out the kinks of it.